everybody! Today we are going to make kimchi jjim, braised kimchi. It's a side dish. You serve this with rice. We call this in Korean bap dodu. Bap dodu means rice thief. Why? Why is it called bap dodu? Because it's so delicious that you are keep, keep, keep eating rice. One bowl, two bowl, third bowl. <laughs> this is really bap dodu, you know. So today, one of the bap dodu recipes Kimchi jjim. So I made this kimchi a while ago. Now well, well fermented, sour and tasty. Just a peak. This is a perfect time for me to make kimchi jjim. So I'm going to show you two versions. Usual kimchi jjim is made with pork. But if you are vegetarians, I'm going to show you how to make this with shiitake mushrooms. I soaked mushrooms several hours ago. You know, mushrooms are like soaking time is always depending on kind of what kind of mushroom it is. This mushroom is very like a plump. It took several hours. Can you hear that? This is my rice cooker sound. I'm making rice, multi-grain rice, because I'm ready to eat my kimchi jjim with my rice. Two soaked shiitake mushrooms. I'm going to chop it up. Chop it up. Put this in the bowl. Look at this a huge king size of onion. And just mince. This is around one third cup. Soy sauce. Two teaspoon honey, but you can use sugar. Just a just little bit, and this ground black pepper and sesame oil. One chopped green onion. So this mixture is for vegetarian version. So I'm going to use this to wrap this in the kimchi soon. And then just set aside, slice this onion. Slice thin. So go. Pork belly exactly one pound. This one pound, but you see these long strips. So I'm going to make this one, two, three, four, five. Five, and then two more is this with the uh, vegetarian version. Kimchi juice. Wow, huge, eh? We are going to use long and large leaves because I'm going to roll, roll it up with this pork and also the mushroom. So let's cut this one like this. Instead of these small leaves, we use large one. Okay, let's turn it over. So this kimchi, we are going to use this. and roll it up. And large leaves, and I'm going to find some small leaves. Look at this. So when you roll it up, tightly roll. So because we are going to cook all time inside of stuff, we should save all. Okay. 
My rice is done. Don't worry. <laughs> Are you shocked? Okay, now we are going to make two more vegetarian version. So here, like this. So that it's not going to fall out. Okay. Here, let's wrap this. Look at that, so pretty. Taking care of kimchi always stain. I have a stain. Look at this yellow hands. <laughs> Look at this, really beautifully rolled. I'm going to put this paint with a gochujang, hot pepper paste. Like this. It's up to you how much you want to make it spicy. And, but I would suggest around for this amount, around a quarter cup. To make it a little sweet, I'm going to add Rice syrup. If rice syrup is not available, you can use sugar or honey. Around two tablespoons. And then sesame oil. Ground black pepper. It looks delicious already, isn't it? So we are going to add some water here. Let's add one cup. We may need more than one cup, but let's start with one cup. Medium high heat, about 10 minutes until really boiling. So we are going to cook around 10 minutes. And then 10 minutes after it's all boiling, and then I'm going to turn down the heat to medium. And then keep cooking until all everything is well cooked and also tender. 10 minutes after. So see, wow, nice. We are going to, let's turn down the heat to medium, between medium and medium low. And cover this again. Many, many dishes we can make with the kimchi. So if you can make a kimchi, how many dishes you can make? Also, there are so many recipes made with the kimchi that I didn't make video yet. So it will be coming in the future. Wow, see, but still hot pepper paste is here on top. I think this all is cooked well. Looks awesome, isn't it? Smells so really great. These two guys are vegetarian version mushrooms, you remember? <laughs> so I'm going to cook longer. And this is, this guy is a mushroom. Okay, oh my, looks so good. You can serve like this, each, each person and each one, one roll. And like a Korean style, you can eat it. You can use scissors and cut. So bite size, you know, you can cut it and then eat. Or Western style, you can, you know, knife and fork. And rice. Kimchi. So let's see inside what it look like. Look at that. First rice. Delicious. Sweet, savory, a little spicy. And this is a cabbage well cooked. No wonder people say this is bap do do. It's a rice thief. Today we made kimchi jin, braised kimchi. Kimchi with pork belly and for vegetarians, mushrooms. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.